Hello everybody, John here with Performance Plus Tennis. You know, in, in professional tennis lately, what we have seen a lot of changes on the serves mostly has to do with how the players are taking the racket back. We're seeing a lot of adjustments. We see Iga Swiatek changing it. We've seen Carlos Alcaraz change it. We've seen uh, Yannick Sinner change it. There's a lot of changes going on, but the most common thing that I'm seeing is that they're making the take back simpler. Okay, so for a lot of players traditionally, and we look back at Roger Federer's serve, where he had more of a classic take back where he would sweep the racket back away from him in the back here and bring it up and then bring it into his motion. In fact, you can see this video coming up with me right here where I actually have, have served like that in the past. But I'm realizing that that doesn't always make for the best timing or the most efficient service motion. And I think that a lot of players are discovering that. So that's why we're seeing a more abbreviated motion. And on the extreme end of it, if we look back at Andy Roddick, he had a very abbreviated motion where the hands just came right up next to him like this and he went right into the position. And if you're watching Andy Roddick's served here on YouTube, he talks about his serve and he talks about how he discovered that simplicity. So one of the key things that Andy Roddick said is that it doesn't matter how you get here, it just matters that you get here. And in this lesson, we're gonna describe what here is and how you can get there in your own style and what the benefit will be for your serve performance. So first we're gonna go through what has been more of a classic take back and what the limitation of that is. And for those of you who've been watching the channel for a while, I interviewed uh, Gavin McMillan, who's the technique coach for Arena Savalenka here on the channel, you can check that out. And when he started working with her a couple years ago, she would take her racket back and literally point the racket back to the back fence this way. And for those of you who struggle you know, with a waiter's tray on your serve and, and getting the palm up, this leads you right into it. So when you roll it back like this and get in this position, you're actually just opening your shoulder up and out and it makes it very easy to get in a position like this. Now, Arena didn't do that, but it made her serve motion very inefficient. So uh, Gavin changed that. But what you wanna do is you don't wanna go back here and ever have the racket point to the back fence because now you've, in order to do that, you've rotated your shoulder open and now you're not in a supinated position where you can actually use the pronation when you play the serve. So what would be more ideal, even if you, even if you swept the racket back a little further away from you, to have the racket more alongside of your hand rather than letting the racket float and point to the back fence like this. Let the racket just stay alongside of your hand here. And then it really wouldn't matter if you went back further, let's say like Roger, or if you came in right here more like Andy, but somewhere in here would be ideal. And this will help you keep the palm down as you move into your trophy position. And you will see more and more players are emulating this position from Holger Runa to Carlos Alcaraz. All these players are starting to get more in this type of position when they're about to serve the ball and discovering that the serve is much more efficient from that position. And what makes it so efficient from that position is this trophy position with the palm down the hand right here is exactly the position I would throw a ball in. And there are a couple coaches here on YouTube who say that the throwing motion and the serving motion uh, have very few similarities, but I would uh, uh, be willing to, to uh, argue that point all the way to the end because definitely the throwing motion is a serving motion. So, so when you're practicing your serve, you can experiment. You can experiment between letting it float back and away, or you can let it come in here next to you, okay? Either one is fine. What we want to avoid is flipping the racket back because that weakens your whole serve motion. So regardless of what your style is, make sure that that racket doesn't flip back. And then when you, when you get into your balanced trophy position and the ball begins to descend, ideally you want to have the racket off to your right, on the right side of your body. You want to have the elbow be a natural extension of your shoulder angle, which hopefully is going to be about 45 degrees. You got a nice shoulder angle there and an extension with the elbow and the palm feels like it's down. And you know, one of the biggest mistakes that recreational players make, and I see it over and over again, is the tendency to want to put the racket behind our head, okay? So once the racket goes behind your head, now your swing path to the ball is very inefficient and you're out of sync with your, with your swing is out of sync with your body. So really work on trying to just keep it, keep everything right here on the right side. And when you make your move, the racket will fall and go by itself in a very efficient path to the ball and you'll start to time the ball so much better, okay? But the key again is to be in a position here where you're more supinated rather than you know, out this way where you've actually rotated your shoulder out and now there's nothing to pronate with. So when you're in this position, you make your move, 
the racket's naturally going to fall in on edge, and now you can pronate through your contact. So that position is key and central to serving performance, and that's why we literally see every server nowadays in modern tennis getting into that position in their own style, but they're getting in that position when they're about to make their move on the ball. So you might be thinking at this point, John, I don't know what my style is, and I don't even know how to find my style. Well, style is what you personally do that is a reflection of your body style, what's natural and comfortable for you to do, and it's discovered through process. As long as your foundational fundamentals are correct, and in this particular case, having the proper grip, which is continental, and making sure that you, whatever style you use, that you get into this position where your racket is off to the right, and you're, you've got a nice elbow position, the palm is down, like you're gonna throw a ball, that is the fundamental you're focused on. And then just experiment and discover what makes it comfortable for you. And then in terms of the bigger picture of the serve, you wanna feel that you wanna get in this position so when the ball begins to descend, you're loaded up and you are ready to deliver that powerful movement onto the ball. And with practice and with time, you're gonna discover that when you're in this position, this is where you're gonna de develop and, and build your power from. So if you're, again, if you're one of those waiter tray players, you've really got to focus on keeping everything on the right side and the palm down. And when you make your move, you can only swing one way at the ball, okay? It's, your swing will just become natural. I'm here, my racket's in this position, I'm gonna throw the racket at the ball. It will just go by itself. You don't have to try and make a swing. And that's one of the other things that recreational players do too much is we get up there and we think, I'm gonna make a swing. Well, you don't need to do that it will fall in place by itself if the other key components are there. Thanks so much for watching today's lesson and I hope this concept will help you improve your serve performance. Please give us a like, leave your comments down below and subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Also got a couple links down below for you. One of them is, is my free mini course on the five fundamental principles you need to master to achieve your full potential on your serve. And the second link down below is you'd like to have me take a look at your serve. I do video analysis and it helps a lot of players really improve their serve. Click on the link down there to see the description on my video analysis program. Click into that and take a look at it. And um, if you want me to analyze your serve, I'd be glad to take a look at it and help you out so much. Thank you very much for watching today's lesson and we'll see you in the next video.